Okay, so let's assume that my friends and I are really weird and we use the, uh, the 2 by 2 matrix uh, with 1, 2, 3, 4 as its entries to encode secret messages and communicate with one another. Um, to be able to decipher any incoming messages that we would get that were uh, translated uh, or encoded using that matrix, we would have to know the inverse of that matrix and therefore use the inverse of that matrix to decode the message. So let's go ahead and find the inverse of that uh, coding matrix that we used. So we had used matrix A to be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 to encode our messages. So I need to go ahead and find the inverse of that. Remember, uh, we had A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A uh, times the new matrix um, where the entries switched was if A was originally A, B, C, D, the formula had D here, A here, and then the opposite of C and the opposite of B. Um, I had another video where I showed you how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix where we saw that formula. So let's go ahead and apply that here. Um, the inverse of this matrix, 1 over the determinant of A. Uh, the determinant can be found by multiplying the entries on this diagonal, so 1 times 4, which is 4, and then subtracting what you get when you multiply the other diagonal, 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. I'm going to put the negative just out in front of that. So I have negative 1 half times some new matrix. Uh, and that new matrix is supposed to switch the entries on this diagonal. So the 4 will be here, and the 1 will be there. And it will change the sign of that to negative 3 and the sign of that to negative 2. Now going ahead and doing the scalar multiplication. Uh, to get the actual inverse of this matrix, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Negative 1 half times negative 2 is positive 1. Negative 1 half times negative 3 is a positive 3 halves, or 1.5. Uh, you could use the decimal there because it's exact. You cannot round during this. So if you have something that cannot be written um, you know, as a terminating decimal, you're going to have to work with it in the fraction form. You chose your encoding matrix to be whatever you wanted it to be. So if you chose something that created that, then choose something different. Uh, we didn't like the, the way it ended up. And then finally, uh, negative 1 half times 1 is negative 1 half. So this is the inverse, uh, A inverse, like that. And to be able to decode any messages uh, that, were that were originally encoded, Using the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, you would have to have this matrix uh, negative, one, uh, sorry, negative 2, 1, 3 halves, negative 1 half. Ah, look at that. I just got a text message from my friend, and it's a series of numbers. They must be trying to communicate with me in, my, in our secret code. Uh, let's see what this series of numbers is. I see... 13, 37, 10, 50, 39, 33, 89, 20, 110, and 79. Huh. I wonder what that means. Well, I know that we like to communicate with our secret code uh, where our numbers were encrypted using this matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me try to use the inverse of this matrix to see if I can decode that message. So I'm going to go ahead and start off over here with this inverse matrix of negative 2, 1, 3 halves, negative 1 half. And I need to multiply by a matrix. So I need to arrange this series of numbers into two rows, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, so I can split that up uh, nicely into two rows of five. Uh, again, if it was an odd number, um, then I would have had maybe put a zero or something at the end. So I have 13, 37, 10, 50, and 39. And then I have 33, 89, 20, 110, and 79. So... Now I have to go ahead and perform matrix multiplication to try to decode this message. So start with the first row times the first column. I have negative 2 times 13, which is negative 26. I have 1 
times 33, which is 33. Uh, negative 26 and 33, when I add those together, that gives me 7. Now again, keeping with the first row, moving over to the second column there, I have negative 2 times 37, which would be negative 74, and 1 times 89, which is 89. Negative 74 and 89 makes 15. Uh, still with the first row, third column. So I have negative 2 times 10, which is negative 20. 1 times 20, which is 20. Negative 20 and 20 makes 0. First row, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth column. I have negative 2 times 50, which is negative 100. I have 1 times 110, which is 110. Negative 100 and 110 gives me 10. Finally, first row, last column. I have negative 2 times 39, uh, which is negative 78. I have 1 times 79, which is 79. Negative 78 and 79 makes 1. So I've completed my first uh, row of that. Now, the second row might be a little bit more challenging because I have fractions uh, involved. But again, feel free to use your calculator to do the multiplication and the addition of fractions there if you're struggling with that. So I have second row, first column. So I have 3 halves times 13. Um, 3 halves times 13. I multiply by the top number times the 13. So that would be uh, 39 halves. And then negative 1 half times 33 would be negative 33 halves. 39 halves and negative 33 halves makes 6 halves. 6 over 2 is 3. Now moving to the second row there, second column, I have 3 halves times 37. Let's see, 3 times 37 would be, uh, 3 times 33 would be 90, and then another 21, so that would be 111 halves. So I'd have 111 halves minus 89 halves, 111 uh, minus Yeah, 111 minus 89, uh, with that, would leave me with 22 halves. 22 halves would be 11. Sorry, I just had a math fail uh, there for a second. <laughs> Brain fart uh, with that. And then second row, third column, 3 halves times 10 would be 30 halves. Uh, negative 1 half times 20 would be negative 20 halves. Uh, 30 halves and negative 20 halves would be 10 halves. Uh, 10 halves, or 10 over 2, would be 5 for that. Uh, next one, I have 30, uh, 3 halves times 50, which makes 150 halves. Uh, negative 1 half times 110 makes negative 110 halves. 150 halves, uh, and negative 110 halves makes 40 halves, 40 over 2, uh, which is 20. And then finally, last row there, I have 3 halves times 39, uh, that would be 100, uh, 117 halves, and negative 1 half times 79 would be negative 79 halves. Uh, when I put that together, I should end up with 38 halves, 38 halves, uh, 38 divided by 2 is in fact 19. Uh, at this point, I have decoded the message at least into a string of numbers, which I can see are all falling between 0 and 26, so they can correspond to my letters of the alphabet. And if I go ahead, um, let me go ahead and wipe this out here so I have some room to write now. If I go ahead and convert those back uh, to the uh, letters of the alphabet, the seventh letter of the alphabet is G, uh, the fifteenth letter of the alphabet is O. Zero represents a space. The tenth letter of the alphabet is J. And the first letter is A. The third letter is C. The eleventh letter is K. The fifth letter is E. The twentieth letter is T. And the nineteenth letter is S. So my friend was trying to tell me, Go Jackets!